welcome to Storytime. My name is Liz and as always it's wonderful to have you with me today. How are you all feeling today? Oh, I'm very pleased to hear that. I'm feeling good too. Thank you for asking. Today we're going to be reading this story and it's a new story for me and I wonder if it's a new story for you. And the title is at the top of the book and it's a very interesting title. It, it's called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. Well, I never knew that. And you can see here at the bottom of the front cover is a very old typewriter. Now, typewriters were used before computers. Now, they didn't have a screen. They did have a keyboard, which you can just see peeping through there. And instead of the screen, what you would do is you would feed the paper in, get it all set up, and then you would start typing. And then you would see that the letter that you pressed it would come up and print onto the paper there. So you could actually see what you were typing. And typewriters were used to type letters and notes. So I'm not sure what cows want with a typewriter. So let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, click clickly clack moo. Ooh. Interesting problem. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Well, it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn, but now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Father Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs? cried Farmer Brown, in the, and in the background he heard them click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Yes, if he's running down the lane with his arms out in the air, he's so cross. So, Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Well, Duck was a neutral party, so he bought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them understood Moo. All night long, Father Brown waited for an answer. Mm, I wonder what it will be. Duck 
knocked on the door early. He handed Father Brown a note. <clears throat> Dear Father Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Father Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder if the ducks really did get that diving board. What a funny story. It actually reminded me of Farmer Duck, a story we read quite a few months ago, where the animals and the cows, the chickens and the ducks all had demands and they used words to get those demands. But this time, instead of using words, the animals were using typewriters to get what they wanted. I'm so glad that the cows and the chickens got their electric blankets because they do keep you warm on these cold autumnal turning into winter nights, don't they? Well, thank you so much for listening to that story. I'll see you soon, no doubt. But until I do, remember, keep safe, keep yourself safe, your loved ones safe, keep washing your hands and keep smiling. Bye for now.